when you're ready. Okay. Hey guys, this is the supervisor from the Arlington Heights Notification. My name is Steve. What we're going to be going over is what's called the grappler. The grappler, this workout is going to be a complex, either a complex of a dumbbell exercise or a kettlebell exercise. You can choose your modality of exercise. So the first portion of this, I'm going to demonstrate the dumbbell portion first. So if you pick the dumbbell as your choice, you're going to start off with a suitcase deadlift. You're going to start on your weak side. So for me, that's my right side. I'm going to perform 10 suitcase deadlifts. Now, assuming I did 10, now what we're going to do is move on to 10 hammer curls, all the way down to 10 lunges on the same side, followed by 10 strict presses, full lockout overhead, and or push press as people start to fatigue going overhead. The next modality of exercise that you can choose is your kettlebell. So I'm going to start again on the weak side. I'm going to start with a single arm swing. Then I'm going to progress into a kettlebell clean, single arm. From the kettlebell clean, what we're going to do is stay in the front rack position. We're going to go all the way down to a kettlebell front squat, stand up, go all the way to a press. Then I'll switch hands and go to my strong side. The way that we're going to work this out, depending on what the, the athlete or the person in the exit class chooses, is what we're going to do is we're going to break this up into fight rounds. It's either three three-minute rounds with two minutes rest in between, or four three-minute rounds with one minute rest in between. Now, it's going to be an active recovery between rounds. What I want people to do is to do a little bit of plow metrics. So what they're going to do, they're going to grab the TRX. They can do basic squat, drop squats, or full pile squats. We're going to be doing five by five. Ideally, I want them to do five by five for height and power. Max explosion, max height, and distance on those jumps with a nice soft landing. So that's what we're going to do for our strength circuit. Basically what these guys are going to do is they're going to go working for their work capacity, got a challenging kettlebell weight, a challenging dumbbell weight, and what we want them to do is really focus on good repetitions, solid repetitions at an easy pace, something that they can go for for over three minutes. The next thing that we're working towards is we're going on our row circuit. Our row circuit is going to be a power row circuit. The power row circuit is five hard pulls, followed by 10 easy pulls. Five hard, 10 easy. Really emphasize leg drive and hip drive and arm pull so that they're going as hard as they can and really going light on those other 10. It's going to be deceivingly hard, the amount of work that's going to go into this, but what I want them to do is go with the power on here, and then they're gonna alternate with an ab circuit. The first one is blades, so from the side, shoulder blades off the floor, knee up, touch your hands together, and then switch legs. Each ab exercise is gonna be 12 reps, followed by side plank ups. Wall on each side, followed by plank rotations. Followed by a Superman hold. Now they can grab a resistance band and bring it overhead if they want to with a choice or put their arms at 90 degrees. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. You don't have to monitor the row circuit because five hard pulls, 10 easy, that is self-explanatory. The strength circuit is good to go. Let them monitor the treadmill circuit and we're good to go. Have a good workout, guys.